now we're here. You said you wanted us to discuss something very important. So what could that be? I've been a watch. Okay. <laughs> you shut your eyes. My eyes? Mm -hmm. Don't worry, it won't take long. Oh. Just for a second. What's it? Baby. Come on, it's part of it. Why don't you just shut your eyes, right? Shut. Women, so don't you dare open it. No. My eyes are closed. Now, open your eyes. Please marry me. Baby. Baby. Please, will you? Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's good. Girl. Yes, I'll marry you. <laughs> Okay. Guess what? I'm not good at that. She said yes to my purpose! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! Oh my god! Uh, Congratulations, son! Thank you, mother. Mother, you needed to see the excitement written all over her face. Aww. It was obvious she has been waiting for that moment. Oh my word! <laughs> You don't doubt me next time, will you? I won't dare doubt you, mother. <laughs> it will be so disappointing and funny to hear that a mad maiden refused the prince's proposal. Yes, mother. It will. 
We have beautiful maidens in this kingdom. Maidens that will run freely into my arms at the click of my fingers. Very beautiful maidens like that. Maidens who will see my proposal as prayer point answered. Why don't you choose from any of them? Listen, son. You see that girl? She's the most suitable maiden for you. Her mom is British. Father, Nigeria. A suitable politician and that. She's raised in the UK, attending one of the most prestigious universities overseas. So you see, she's everything good. So you see, where do you intend to find a raging in a wife like her? She being a student of one of the most prestigious universities in the UK makes her even more exposed. Yes. Besides, we don't even know each other. Something keeps telling me that that girl will have no value for my status as a prince of this kingdom. That is not a good one, mother. I am so confident of that. And if she refuses my proposal, I will not forgive myself as a prince, mother. I am royalty. There's something you refuse to realize about yourself. Oh, look at you. You are intelligent. Smart. Rich. She might be even waiting for your proposal. You're not just an ordinary village prince. You're well related. King in making of the Fejogo kingdom. A rich prince. So tell me. Who? Who will refuse your proposal? Marriage proposal in her right senses. Show me that girl. Just point at that maiden. You seem not to understand those girls bred abroad. Their mentality, the way they reason, mm. is quite a totally different from the ones you have here. Will you start doubting me and shoot your shot already? Huh? Today is the happiest day of my life, mother. You know what? Your father must be proud of you anywhere he is. And your ancestors will be celebrating because you got yourself a bride. Mm. Body of royalty. This calls for <laughs> celebration, right? And we're going to do that. So tell me, where is she at the moment? Oh, well, she have a flight to catch up to Lagos tomorrow. Okay. And uh, later on that same day, she'll be flying to the UK. Mm -hmm. So she asked me to drive her to the hotel. She needs to rest. And you did? Of course I did, mother. Oh my word, this is so gentlemanly of you. <laughs> You've really grown. Mother. I'm so proud of you, son. Thank you very much. You know what? We are going to celebrate. We're having an in-house party. I'm going to tell the chef to make so many delicacies. We're inviting close family friends. We're going to eat merry because of those good news. That's interesting. This is a jackpot! <laughs> Come on! Thank God I've got a lot of drinks in the house, so that won't be a problem. I'm calling them. <laughs> Where is that? I've got a lot of drinks at home, so that won't be a problem. Where is that? She's desperate, selfish woman, a woman without sympathy. Yeah. 
Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! What is it? Organic one. Look at how you're hopelessly sleeping around the palace. Why are you brought in here to sleep? I was already done cooking now. I was tired. I decided to rest here. I didn't know when I slept off. You didn't know when you slept off? Now listen to me. Listen and listen attentively. Hold your ears. The queen is expecting some guests, right? She said you should prepare some local dishes and intercontinental delicacies. Are you listening to me? I do not want any form of mistakes. Did you hear me? I'm talking to you as you sleeping. Get going, get out of my sight. Silly comes. Oh my goodness, baby. I'm just so happy. I'm so excited. You know why? <laughs> because the Prince of Ife Jaku Kingdom has just proposed to me. He proposed to me. So I'm going to be the next queen of Ife Jaku Kingdom. <laughs> I'm super excited, you know. <laughs> I just hope this wasn't your attitude at the proposal ground. I, I just hope so. I don't understand. How do you mean? I mean the way you're excited. I think the prince proposing to you is a big deal. Of course. Lucy, it's a big deal. You think it's easy for a prince to propose to you? Ah, oh, it's not. Really? Yes. <laughs> Jane. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Have you forgotten who you are? Have you? Do I need to remind you? Babe, come on! Come on! How can you be this excited and joyful just because one local prince from one local community or kingdom proposed to you? Babe, it should be the other way around. He is the one who is supposed to be this excited that you said yes to his proposal. Really? Yes! Oh my goodness. Lucy, I know what's your problem because you've never been in love. Okay, let me make it very clear to you. Firstly, when I saw him, I fell in love with him. And now, I am not just excited that a prince proposed to me. I am only excited that the love of my life proposed to me. And you're telling me not to be excited. Come on, baby girl, you should be happy for me. I'm Whichever excited. way. Whichever way. He is the one that is supposed to be this excited. I still maintain my stance. Oh, whatever. Oh. I know what your problem is, baby girl. But I am in love. I am getting married. I am obsessed, baby. I am! <laughs> you will not understand because you've never been in love. Have you ever been in love? I'll take that to be a compliment. Congratulations, anyway. Oh my goodness. It's not like I'm not happy for you, though, but I just feel somehow. How? I mean, the whole excitement, I don't seem to get it. Oh, lady, baby girl. Have you ever been in love? I hate you. I love you. We need to pop some shoes. What I know is that I just saw people trooping into the palace and the chef preparing different meals at the same time. Hmm. So you want to tell me that you don't even know what they are celebrating and you're here eating rice and chicken. <laughs> Must I know the reason for the celebration before I enjoy this meal and the drink that they gave us? Hmm? Must I? Madam, no. Oh. oh yeah, now tell us what are they celebrating? Okay. Oh. Today is the first birthday. That's what they are celebrating. Liar. The prince birthday is in June. Mm -hmm. I remember when they celebrated his birthday last year. It was June and not March. 
You're right. Mm -hmm. But if that is the case, what are they celebrating? Are you asking me? Wait, though. So you don't even know? And you're here talking. My dear, mind just close your mouth. We are all the same. Let's just enjoy this food and this drink in peace. Yes, ma'am. Mm. 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 Oh. Mm. I mean, this chest is a bit too. I swear. Mm. Mm. Cheers. 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 Mm. Mm. More enjoyment. Actually, no more cheers. Mm. Mm. This food is very, very delicious. Though. See, in my new generation, I'll continue to be a palace man. <laughs> this is a no guess. <laughs> So let it go like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's good one. I feel like you don't my brain. Come on, come on, come on, come on, is everywhere cleared? Yes, Your Majesty. The maids are not Okay. Um, the prince. He hasn't eaten anything. I observed him. He was busy drinking and dancing all night. Tell the chef to get something for him to eat in his chamber. Let her be quick with that. Yes, Your Majesty. Sleeping again on duty. Shame on you. Ugo, what is it now? Won't I rest? I single-handedly made all the local and continental dishes the queen asked me to make for her guests. Served everybody, washed all the dishes. Eh? This night again, you don't want me to rest. Get it home. My friend, the queen says you should go and check up on the prince. He might be hungry. No problem, let me just go and serve his dinner. After that, in Jelarora. Oh, no, my mother can't be. My mother can't be. My mother can't be. Stand up there, go and take what you're asking. Let me take his dinner to him. Good morning. What is wrong with you, sir? Every time sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. Who are you again? My prince, you are drunk. How dare you? <coughs> Sorry, Jesus. Sorry. How dare you? Huh? How dare you call the prince? Of if a jug drunk. I'm sorry. Sorry for yourself. What are you doing here? I brought your dinner. And who sent you? Your mother, the queen. My mother does not have the right to ask you to serve me my food. I am the prince of this kingdom. I know what I want. I know when I want it. Understand? Okay, okay. No problem. Let me take it back. I'm here! <coughs> sorry. I'll take your walk out of me. I'm sorry, my prince. <sighs> My, my prince. Shh. 
You are touching delicate part of my body, please. My prince, this is not you. My prince. My prince. Listen to me. Huh? You have everything that the prince wants. You know what I'm talking about. My prince. Shh. My prince, please. My prince. 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 Jesus. Mama, we Mama! My queen! What is going on here? And why are you crying? Ubo came to me and said that you asked I served the prince dinner. And I brought it. He said he's not interested. I wanted to take it and go. He grabbed me and forcefully raped me. Ah. My son raped you? Yes. Yes, he was drunk. Listen. You have to go and clean up, okay? Just pick whatever that is yours. Go to your quarter and uh, clean up. Listen, on no account would you tell anyone that my son raped you. Do I make myself clear? Yes. Sir. Le, sir, listen. Do not tell anyone what transpired between you and my son in his room. Not your ghost, not your shadow, not even your mother. Because if you do, I will find out. And if I do, I will strangle you with my bare hands. Leave. <laughs> Selfish woman, a woman without sympathy, a woman without woman sympathy, Princess Bell. Wakey, wakey, sleepy head. Princess Bell. Hey, get up. Shower briefly so we can start living. Okay. Is the prince still coming to take us to the airport? <sighs> the prince, the dude is high, you know. He was drunk last night while he was celebrating our engagement. Mm -hmm. You're really correct what you said. I called him on a video call and I saw that dude has already passed on. So I think you should just um call the hotel taxi to come get us. Is that okay? That's fine. Okay, Let just shower. Yeah, hurry up. I'll call the taxi. Mm. Oh, he, he was drunk. <laughs> Celebrating the engagement. <laughs> that was nice to hear. How could you? How could you descend so low as to rape a maid palace maid? The fact that your son was drunk doesn't mean a thing to you. You know me too well. 
I wouldn't do a thing like that. I, I, I wasn't in my right senses. I was under the influence of alcohol. No mother. level of alcohol should have made you lose who you are. Chitena Chito for you are the prince. You are the king in making of this kingdom. Don't put this above mistake, mother. Some mistakes are more costly. Costlier than life itself. And this particular mistake of yours is capable of denying you your father's throne if not properly handled. How could you? How could you sacrifice your destiny on the altar of one minute? One minute pleasure. I'm so ashamed of myself. Of course you should be. Have you thought about your bride to be? Have you ever pondered now that you're seated how she will react? Should she hear it? You'll be labeled a rapist. Mother, we are in this together, aren't we? I am not with you and this. I need your help. I can't do this all alone. The maid has to be silenced. We need to keep our mouth shut forever. Mother, please. I've noticed that for the past three days now, you have been feeling moody. If you're not crying, you're sobbing. If you're not sobbing, you're moody. You're no longer cheerful as you used to be. Uh, I suppose that something must be the cause of your unhappiness. Please, what is that? Is everything all right your mother? Thanks for your care and my mother is fine. Then what could be the cause of your unhappiness all the time? Ah, please, please. I would appreciate if you don't ask me this question again. Thank you. Thank you. What are you doing to me? Has anyone noticed the chair recently? Mm. Everything started after the last party. She has always been moody ever since. I know she overstressed herself that night. But what I wouldn't know is behind her mood afterwards. This can be. This is more serious than mere palace choice. There is something, but she's not disclosing. Who knows? Might be a family issues, you know? Yeah, maybe. That was why I went to ask her if her mother was fine. And what did she say then? Oh, she said her mother is fine. That I shouldn't bother asking again because she's not going to tell me. Oh, alright. Thanks for well. Thank you. Oh, I have to go to your place. Please continue. Continue again. Continue. We are behind you. Please, let's go. Okay. Selfish woman. A woman without sympathy. A woman without woman sympathy. Bring Jasper. Hello, babe. How you doing? How are your parents? Mom is fine, dad is fine, 
We are all doing well. Now that you've graduated, aren't you considering coming back home to establish here? Of course. Of course, baby. I'll be coming down to Nigeria, you know, to be with my man and start raising our kids. <laughs> okay. And so you can support me in being the next king of Ife Joko Kingdom? Ah, of course, baby. So when is our royal wedding? Oh, soon. Sooner than you think, babe. Soon? Yeah. Baby, you know you have to tell me, like inform me on time, so I can make my own preparation. You see, uh, my mom and I were actually getting through with my late father's cabinet, and after that, we'll put that into consideration. And I can't wait to get married to you, sweetheart. <laughs> I love you. I love you, baby. Bye. I'm sorry, I can't. Why? I ate them. Cannot open this gate for you. Today and tomorrow is my off day. Please open the gate. Let me go and see my mother. What is all this now? Mama, I can only open this gate on Queen's command. Nobody even make me open this gate. Not even my village people. So I have to go and tell the queen to tell you to open the gate before you open gates for me. Maybe. All of you are really beginning to take me for granted in this palace. So maybe because I'm a quiet person, you people are looking for my trouble. You people are looking for my trouble. Do, do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? If like say you don't know who, 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 who is at them, I am going on your young sorrow. Don't go and take permission from the queen. Come back and challenge them. Yeah. Selfish woman. A woman without sympathy. Let's come in. Greetings, my queen. Now, may I ask you? My queen, today and tomorrow are my own days. I wanted to go out, but the security man refused. He wouldn't let me go. Do you want to go home? Yes, I want to go home. Well, I personally ordered the gate man not to allow you to leave the palace in order to monitor your movement. We had a deal, have you forgotten? That no ear should hear what transpired between you and my son, the order of it. Yes, my queen, but it's just my house that I'm going to. I'm not going any other place. Well, you're just telling me. I believe you're saying the truth. I don't have any reason to lie to you, my queen. I just want to go and see my mother. What are you just telling me? And I hope you are saying the truth. Thank you, my queen. Remember, no ear should hear what happened. Else, I will kill you. No problem, my queen. No one will hear. Not even my mother. Not even your mother. All right, my queen. At last we reach Jasper. At last we reach Jasper. At last we reach Jasper. Yes, ma'am. Atlas we be just man. One more job. Atlas we be just man. Mother, mother, mother.
Okay, Your Majesty. I don't hear. Calm down. Calm down your temperature. Don't even tell me thank you. Hmm? Now this kind of thing, them they talk, they give you email and phone. She, she, she can't even tell me thank you. She if you say nah, come on, make me open this gate. She's desperate, selfish woman, a woman without sympathy, a woman without woman sympathy. Can she tell me not to tell my mother? This kind of thing. Hmm. I'll tell my mother. Let me see if she's a witch. If she will be in the palace and hear when I'll be telling her. They go keep them. <laughs> Mama, I was preserving my virginity. Because I know it is my pride. I was the best, first person that will have canal knowledge of me to be my husband. That is my dignity as a woman. A priest took advantage of me because he knows I'm nobody. He raped me. Raped me. He disvenged me for nothing. It's okay, my daughter. It's okay, my daughter. He did it. Because we are nobody. Mm. He did it because he knows nobody will fight for us. <laughs> Your mother is a nose. I'm a nose. And that's how Trinity makes you a nose. Mm. But they are dead, they are royalty. They are royalty. And that's why they decided to oppress you and oppress us like this. On you, on me! But you must know, worry. There is someone who is greater than all of them. He stays up there and oversees what happens here. He sees all the injustice. He sees all the wickedness. He sees all the injustice meted on us. He's going to fight for the world. <laughs> He's going to fight for the oppressed. Let me go. Stop crying. She so wasn't it all. The queen called me and said that I should not tell anybody about this, including you. How can I not tell my mother about such evil that was done to me? She even went ahead to threaten me that if I tell anybody, she will kill me. She did not even feel sorry for me. For what happened? I understand why she said what she said. She's afraid that we might open up to tell it to people. And you know what? With so much the courage to tell it to people, this thing they have done to you, with so much the courage to say it to people. So, and if the son is brought to swear to an oath or to plead guilty, you see that throne? He would never send that throne according to our culture and tradition. He would never send it. Then let's tell people now he needs to pay for what he has done to me. He needs to be punished. Mm -mm, mm -mm, please. Allow, see, we are going to allow God to take control. God knows it all. He cannot fight them. He cannot. Mama, who's 
morning. Good morning, Linda. We are already awake. Yes, Mama. That's a challenge. <laughs> Eh, uh, because once you so be fast about it, so that you can go to the village clinic and get you some drugs before you start going to the palace. I'm not going to the palace again. Uh, why? I'm not going there. I don't want to go there. That that place gives me bad 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 memories. Come sit down. Mama, but see, eh, Mama, I cannot go back to that place. Going back to that place reminds me of that horrible experience that night. I still cannot take my mind off it. You needed to have seen what that guy did to me that night. He devoured me like a vulture. I need to be in a place where I can, you know, see if I will, I will forget it a bit. Come now, hell, I need to heal small, small. Going back to that place to remind me of the whole incident again, to make me feel very terrible. I need time to heal. In as much as I want to understand you, hmm? you will need to go back to that palace for your life and for our lives. I don't understand how you. What do you mean? What I mean is that if you refuse to go back to that palace, the queen will think that you want to breach the agreement you had with her. I had already broken the agreement. The agreement was for me not to tell anybody, but I've told you already. Ah, telling me. Telling me is as good as keeping it to yourself. Will I tell anybody? Me. I can't claim that type of nonsense from my mouth. Eh? Oh, if you tell her now, how can I say it? I'm not saying it to anyone. In fact, you did not tell me. I've not heard anything. I didn't hear anything. Pakam, you have it. Oh? But meanwhile, you have to prepare and go back to the palace and make the queen believe that you are still in the same boat. Hmm? Biko. Don't play with fire. Are they joking? We do not play with fire. And I know a jarry and a bonanti, a bonanya, or a piano. Sweep this thing fast and then go, go by the doors, then rush to the palace. Oh, no, don't even think about it. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Back yet from her two days off? Not yet, Your Majesty. Not yet. Yes, ma'am. Good. Inform me as soon as she returns. Tell her to come to my chambers and see me. Are we, Your Majesty? Do not forget. I will not forget, Your Majesty. You may leave. Yes, Your Majesty. Why do you bother yourself about nothing? You call losing the throne of your father's nothing? You call carelessly handing your inheritance to a total stranger nothing? Really? Nobody knows about it. That's the point. Nobody knows about it. That's what we think. So we think. The royal chef left my 
She left for her two days off. Today is the third day. Check your wristwatch. It's past 12 noon. And she's nowhere to be found. Are you in any way insinuating that she might have decided to quit her job and report me to the elders? And you'll be made to prove yourself. You need to prove by swearing to clear yourself. You need to clear your innocence. I'm sure you're not ready to die now, or are you? She failed to resume up to date for all days. Who did the cooking in Paris? Hey, Quaker, you and I know very much about that. It has nothing to do with the cooking in Paris. A lot of people in here can handle that. And employing yeah. another chair won't cost the Quaker in any minute. So, what are you insinuating? Listen. Something deep is going on in this palace, and we are all yours of it. Something like it. Something like the reason the chef was moody for days before she left the palace, always crying. Yeah, you're right. You get the point. The question is, what exactly is that? Whatever it is, must be dead serious. You will get it. And whose stall is it to mop the outer chamber of the palace this week? And what the hell are you still doing there? But, but I thought you said... You thought what? Will you get, get and get, get to work? And both of you, what are you still doing there? Get up there and get busy with your life. Get used with your life. Instead of standing here and gossip. Busy bodies. Yes, Mama, I want to cook um, beans and plantain for us for dinner. I thought we agreed that you are going back to the palace this morning. Mama, I changed my mind when you left. Uh -uh. Hey, you now. Mama, why are you doing this to us? Hey, why are you putting our lives in danger? How? What I mean is that you want to waste us just like that. The way will come for us if you don't go back to that palace. She will. Listen. What I see sitting down here, even if you climb the highest you go to, you will never see it. You will not. Mama, I don't feel like going back to that palace. That's why immediately you left, I changed my mind. I don't feel safe there any longer. I feel safe here. Hey, I don't feel safe around the, the queen and he, her son. I don't feel safe around the queen and her son. Going there is like endangering my life. Mm -mm. There you go wrong. The danger is in you running away from them. You don't know that when you go close to them, they will believe that their secrets are safe with you. You don't understand. Please, you have to go back to that palace. Oh, oh Mama, if I'm ever going to go back to that palace, it's because of you. Oh, oh. Do it for your mother. Oh, okay. Do it for you. But tomorrow, you are going back to the palace. Okay?
No. I can't take chances. Never. I will let her know that before Abraham, Jesus was. Yes. Jidin Najito for my son. Truly messed up. But I won't be alive. I won't be alive and watch his mistake cost us the throne of his fathers. Never. If that poor wretched witch thinks she's smart, then I will show her that I am smarter than her little brains. Yes, I am. I am. Selfish woman, a woman without sympathy. It's just a dream. Calm down. Mama, calm it down. It was so real. Oh boy, he was just pursuing me. He was pursuing me. He finally caught me and shot at me. God forbid. Hey, God forbid this can never happen. Nobody's going to shoot my daughter. What? No, oh, well, calm down. It's just a dream. Mama, yeah. I thought I was with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Jesus. God is protecting us always. Nothing will happen to us. Let me go. Let's go inside. Oh? Let's go inside so you can sleep. <laughs>
Your Majesty. The chef is back. When? As soon as you drove out of the palace, Your Majesty. Really? Yes, Your Majesty. Okay. Tell her to come see me at my chambers. Yes, Your Majesty. Coming. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from my humble home. When were you supposed to resume work? I'm really so sorry, my queen. The truth is, I'm supposed to resume work yesterday. But my mother fell ill and there was nobody to take care of her. I had to quickly take her to the village clinic. But now that she's a bit stable and she can stay by herself, I started to come up. You know, I've never behaved like this. I'm sorry. Why do I feel that you are not telling the truth? My queen, I'm, I'm saying the truth. You can make inquiries. I am feeling that your refusal to resume work yesterday was as a result of what I want you never to mention to anyone and you told your mother about it, am I right? No, 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 I did not tell my mother about it. Are you saying the truth? Yes, my queen, I'm saying the truth. She's desperate, selfish woman, a woman without sympathy, a woman without woman sympathy, Queen Jasper. Queen Jasper, heartless Queen, Queen Jasper. Mission on board. Target. So what happened? Why didn't you resume work yesterday? My dear, my mother was sick, so I needed to be certain she's stable enough to be on her own before coming back. Well, everyone was worried though. Worried about what? Worry about the fact that before you left, you were acting all strange, feeling moody, crying at randomly. So we thought that she were never coming back. That whatever was making you cry had kept you from coming back. Not at all. Far from that. So what was that you were crying about? You know you're my friend in this palace. Mm -hmm. If you value our friendship, don't ask me this question again. I'm sorry. It's okay. No problem. You've eaten your own food, Abby. Yes. I'm done cleaning. Okay. I'm washing. I think I should not have my shower. And you can do another thing. Okay. 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 That's exactly what. Hello, son. Hold on, babe. I'll call back, okay? My mother is here. Me as well. Yes, sir. Uh, good morning, mother. How are you? I'm fine, as you can see. You? Very well. Um, the royal cabinet sent two delegates. I already know why they are here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tell me, when are we going to pay her bright price officially? Uh, whenever you deem it fit. Yeah, she's ready. Uh, she's done with school. So when you choose a date, you tell me, I'll tell her to tell her parents. Are you sure? Sure, sure, mother. Okay. Tell them exactly one month from today. Okay. One month. No problem. Let me go sit with them. Okay. Yeah. Take care. Thank you. Hello, babe. Thank you. 
Long live the queen. 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 Welcome the cabinet members of Fejoko Kingdom. British I urge you to go straight to the point. Tell me. Tell me the reason you're here. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings to you, Ichin Naduzia. After a long deliberation of your late husband's cabinet, we were sent to come and inquire from the Queen when her son, the priest of this kingdom, will introduce his bride to us so that we can proceed the royal wedding. Come the grand of our next king. One month. One month from now, I will present to you the queen, the next queen of Ifejoko kingdom. I've not been idle. I know the do's and don'ts of Ifejoko kingdom. I know that as soon as the morning of the late king is over, the next is coronation. So I have been walking behind closed doors. Relax. <laughs> My queen, I must commend your doggedness in running the day-to-day -day activities of this palace. Truly, you are indeed a queen mother. We have received your message. We will return back to the cabinet and relate to them. Go to God. No. That should be after the chef and the maids are giving you treats. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, <then we're> <laughs> It must be done. Yes, sir. Here she comes. The queen of the making of the video of the kingdom. You're welcome, sweetheart. Thank you, my love. <laughs> I will present Very successful. Hello, daughter. Mommy. You're welcome. Good afternoon, mm -hmm. Good afternoon. How are you? Thank Good you. Good afternoon, Mommy. Good afternoon. How was your trip? Very successful. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Very well. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank oh, you please. Inside, can we get inside first? Oh, yeah. Of course. <laughs> yeah, you look so astonished with her. Thank you, baby. Oh, my God. But at the moment, they are all at um, daddy's uh, country home. Oh, yeah. Getting ready for my prince to come and pay my dad <laughs> price. <laughs> good to hear. Yeah. Yeah, good to hear. That's nice. Okay, there you go. I'm missing a Nigerian food. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah. Sweetheart, Thank there you, you go. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Ah. 
I'll have yours for now. Yeah. Mm. Cheers. 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 It's a good life. It's a good life. It's a good life. Yes. I wouldn't mind yours on this, but I want more of it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she will be. It's fine. I can help with the vision. I'll tell you if you say something. She's more than a woman. She's desperate. Selfish woman. A woman without sympathy. A woman. We just been Heartless we 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 We just been Taking Jane to the hotel and right back. Isn't she going to her parents' house today? Oh, no, she isn't. Um, actually, we agreed to stay together today at the hotel. We will spend some time today, and uh, tomorrow she'll be going to meet her parents. Alright. But she is waiting for you to say goodbye. Goodbye to her then. Mother, just like that. Oh, come on. Um, why don't you come and say goodbye to her? She didn't know you don't for I have a lot on my head. Saying goodbye to her is in the least of my worries. Please, just... Mother, is there a problem? Not that I can't handle. Trust me. Just take care of your brand on me. To the hotel and have fun. I say so. Yeah. I'll be back. If you run out of cash, no problem. All right, yeah. That's my mother. <laughs> All right. I'll see you. Yeah. Be careful. Sure. Your sins can be covered forever. Forever. All right, sweetheart, shall we? Babe, what about mom? I told you I needed to inform her that we're leaving. That's got to see you know. Oh, uh, yeah, I know, but there will be no need for that. I told her already, you know, so shall we? Let's go. I don't get that. What do you mean? 
The point I'm trying to make is mother is upstairs. She's quite busy. She can't come down right now. Babe, Kotsi demands that I inform her before leaving. Amy? Yeah? Honey, why are you so bothered about seeing my mother before you leave? Come on, we're good like that, okay? Shall we? You know what, babe? It's fine. He already said he has informed his mother that we are leaving. I think it's the same thing. Let's go. Really? It's fine. Yeah, yeah so really. Can you get your own bag? So walk to the car. Mama, why are you talking like this? You know how it happened. That's not the point. That's not the point. The queen will not allow this thing inside your tummy to leave. Because it is a taboo to raise a royal blood outside the palace. Hey! If you Mama, I don't understand. How do you mean? The queen we go to any length to make sure she terminates this pregnancy. Even if it entails taking your life, that God woman will it. terminate this pregnancy. God forbid, Mama. <laughs> Mama. You remember the dream I told you? You remember that dream I had, that bad dream? Yes, yes, yes. When I was about entering the bike, I noticed that somebody was trailing me. I looked. I saw the person's face, the exact face I saw in that dream. Hey! But all of a sudden, I did not see the person again. Are you sure about this? Yes, Mama. Hey! You know, since that time I had that dream, the incident has not left my mind. I've been worried. Mama, our lives are in danger. Mama. Mama. Mama, what are we going to do? Mama, do what I know? I Mama, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, police. 